Boom. Metroid. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. One play. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? <laughs> How? are y'all doing hey i originally recorded this video didn't realize my mic was off had no audio but here is the epic re-upload bigger and better like never before first we're having a giveaway just read the scrolling thing right below me all the details two make sure you are giving the video a thumbs up why because i'm a cool guy all right let's talk about this June Nintendo Direct and why it's happening. It is May 23rd. We have one week left till June. Historically, Nintendo has had a Nintendo Direct like clockwork at the beginning of June. Bro, four out of the last five Junes, Nintendo has had a Nintendo Direct. The only year Nintendo didn't do a direct in June was because of the pandemic. Now, this year, this is why many think it may be up in the air because E3 has been canceled. E3 has been canceled, but that does not mean a Nintendo, Nintendo direct is not coming. And if we just go base pretty much numbers for the last five years, we have an 80% chance <laughs> We're going to have a Nintendo Direct in June. And here's why I think it's going to happen. Nintendo plans these Directs months in advance. And so they were already planning to have a presentation probably before E3 officially announced it was canceled this year. And I've always been saying this ever since Nintendo started doing these digital presentation Nintendo Directs, they really don't need E3. And I think most of these companies realize that, that they don't need E3. They could just have these um, their presentations in June and the fans are still going to tune in. Microsoft is the first company to put the dagger in the sand. They've announced at, be at the beginning of June, I think it's June 12th or 11th, they're having their Xbox showcase around the time of E3. And so again, regardless if E3 is happening or not, most of these companies are going to have their usual presentations and Nintendo is no different. So first, if we just go based off of their track record, Nintendo will be having an E3 at the beginning of June. It's the end of May. So within, within the next two weeks, anticipate and expect Nintendo to announce a Nintendo Direct coming June 11th june 10th around that time typically 10 a.m 9 a.m or 10 a.m is usually when nintendo has it followed by their treehouse they still have treehouse because all of that can be done digitally they do not need e3 anymore now as far as the content of this upcoming nintendo direct first off metro prime 4 cannot go another year without some kind of hype fan um, excitement we got this trailer in 2017 the launch year of the switch nothing since they've canceled the game from the rigid developer switch development teams the game is getting a refresh reboot now even if we don't get gameplay because it may be too soon for gameplay some kind of reveal the concept a teaser CGI what's going what's going on with the environment what planet it will be on something to get the fans talking of the game we're cut we're just coming off of the Metroid dread hype phenomenal installation to the franchise but we need Metroid Prime for something update at this e3 
and I think Nintendo will do it. I'm going to do another video going into detail on what I think we should expect from Metro Prime 4. But for this video, we need some kind of reveal, an official reveal. This was just a photoshopped um, logo that I could have done. But we need a, a proper CGI official reveal. Maybe even a narrowing of a release date. 2020 holiday 2024 now many people are saying that this game is coming out on the next gen switch not the current switch that's completely wrong but this game was originally announced on the switch and so if nintendo originally announced it for this current platform it's definitely coming out it might be a cross-gen game like twilight princess or um, Breath of the Wild, but it's definitely going to be on this Switch. And I think even Nintendo comes out with the next gen console, it's going to be cross um, um, backwards compatible with the current Switch. So you have nothing to worry about if you don't feel like upgrading your Switch. Now, what else can we expect from this Nintendo Direct? A big first party holiday surprise game. Case in point. Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi's Mansion 3. We didn't know this game existed months, a few months before the game actually launched. Nintendo announced it at E3 and that same holiday season it came out. Nintendo, what well, sometimes they do, they do go a long time with revealing games. I just talked about Metro Prime 4. But for most of their games, Nintendo announces it months right before it comes out. And we didn't even know the game existed. And Nintendo knows how to keep their games, especially their first party games, close to their chest. To where no one knows until it launches that holiday season. And that's why I'm saying this Nintendo Direct, we should get a big first party game from the switch now what will that f first party game be who knows one game that i think is prime and ready is an all new four swords game in the art style of Link's awakening um i think a four swords game would be perfect for the switch you get the four joy cons put it in tabletop mode or even online Online is big. When the 3DS game had online, it should definitely have online on the Switch. With this art style, I think it could be a killer title. The fact that we're not getting Zelda this holiday season will still have a Zelda title. And I think it will sell pretty, pretty good. Um, if they announce it at E3, comes out this holiday 2022. Now, what else can we expect that's almost a given at this E3? more Breath of the Wild 2 information. Um, I think every presentation Nintendo's gonna have leading up to the launch of this game, we're gonna get something. More story reveal, maybe a, um, a dungeon, look at one of the dungeons. Something about Breath of the Wild 2 will be at the next E3. This is almost a guaranteed. The game looks gorgeous, looks phenomenal. Breath of the Wild, the first game on the Switch was a game changer. Open world games will never be the same. And I think Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be another phenomenal addition to the series. Now, <coughs> this next piece could go 50-50. Hardware announcements. This is what I'm, I'm saying. If the Switch, if it's going to be a Switch Pro, just an iterative upgrade to the current Switch, I don't think it's going to be announced at E3. It'll be just a separate trailer. Like they did with the 3ds the new 3ds separate trailer on youtube nintendo just uploaded it boom here's a more powerful 3ds launching and they have the date they could very well do that for a new switch a switch pro now if it's a switch 2 a next gen leap a substantial hardware leap and the form factor is different that's where it could be included in the direct Speaking of the Wii U, Nintendo historically, their next gen consoles, they announce it within their E3 presentation. So it could go either way with next gen hardware, time will tell. Uh, regardless, look, keep in lookout on the internet for a June Nintendo Direct uh, announcement by, by Nintendo. That's what they've always done. We can expect the same in 2022. All right, dudes, 
What do you guys think of a June Nintendo Direct? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy.